a lot of you guys were like quantum jumping meditation. I am not at all familiar. What is that? How does that work? This sounds strange. What are we doing here? This is super spiritual. Is this religious? What's going on? What does this have to do with relationships or dating? Trust me, we're going somewhere and we're going somewhere special. Okay. The whole idea of quantum jumping is for you to enter, leave your own physical body and physical realm and enter another dimension, stay with me, enter another dimension in which you meet the version of you that is already doing and living the life that you want to live. So for example, let's say you're super passionate about painting and your ultimate goal is for your paintings to be hanging in museums, your, your life to be that of a painter. Like you don't have to do anything in, in your life except for paint. You make a living off that. You make more than a good living off of that, right? And you're comfortable and you get to express yourself and express your feelings. You get to watch your paintings and your art take shape in museums and people to know you for your painting and all that good stuff. Let's just say that's your like ultimate dream. That's who, that's who you, that's who you want to be. Okay. The whole idea of quantum jumping is that you will enter an alternate, you will enter an alternate realm dimension in which you get the opportunity to meet that version of you as that version of you already exists. Okay. You, that version of you that is already existing, that ideal, let's say dream version of you, right. Is already existing at like right now you, they introduce themselves to you. And then you proceed to have a conversation with that dream version of you that will tell that you can ask that dream version of you, hey, what is it? How did you get here? What did you do? What actions did you take? What advice do you have for me? Because I want to become you. So what do I have to do to become you? Okay. So that's the whole idea of what you're trying to visualize. Um, the whole concept behind what we were we were doing, what we were learning yesterday, is we're learning how to give ourselves that internal validation, that internal happiness, right? To feel whole within ourselves because we know what we want. We know who we are. We know what our purpose is here on earth, right? And in the process of that, right, you will feel like you have something to wake up for every single day, right? You'll feel like there's something to look forward to every single day. And that's good. That's how we all should be as, as humans and as individuals. But the reason it relates to relationships is because now in the process of you feeling like you have something to wake up for, in the process of you feeling like you have goals to attain, right? In the process of you making yourself happy by doing what you're passionate about, right? You will take that happiness and confidence into your relationships and you'll carry it around you everywhere you go, right? And people will be attracted to that aura, right? The fact that you feel whole, uh, whole I still was going to say hope, the fact that you feel whole within yourself, right, gives you that confidence and gives you that internal validation that when you go and you meet people, you're not chasing that validation, right? Because a lot of times when we find ourselves in relationships where we're codependent on our partner or in relationships where people are using the fact that we're so desperate for validation against us to get them to, to get uh, us to do things, to do what they want us to do, right? Um, they can use it as a form of manipulation, right? Because when someone sees you're so desperate for something, of course, in this case, we're more specifically talking about men for most of you guys in the chat, but I know we have some um, men that are in the chat, so we be talking about women. But in most cases, right, when someone sees that you're super desperate for that validation and you're seeking that, right, externally, they know that they can use that against you. They can either give you a lot of that or take it away as a way of manipulating you into getting to you to do what they want you to do, right? And we want to take, we want to stop those people, them, they, right? We want to stop them from being able to have that power over us, right? Bonnie said love bombing. Yeah, that's another perfect example of understanding. And this is all happening on a subconscious level. The understanding that, look, if I feed your ego in a particular way. If I give you validation in a particular way, right, that's going to take you over the moon. I also know 
that because you're so desperate for it, if I take it away, that's going to put you down in the dumps, right? And I can use that large swing of emotions to control you, right? So what are we doing here? We're, we're utilizing these methods to create inside you your own internal happiness and your own internal validation that you will, you're not going to go up and down based on someone else's validation of you because you have your own validation of yourself. So the whole idea is finding out what makes you happy, finding out what brings you joy, finding out what your purpose is outside of just being someone's um, husband or wife, right? Outside of just being someone's partner, because it's awesome to be someone's partner. It's awesome to be a, a mother to children. It's awesome to be someone's wife. It's even better to be that and also have things for yourself as an individual, right? Because eventually your kids will grow old and your kids will eventually not need you as much anymore, right? And also your partner is going to have their own individuality outside of you. So it's very important that in that process, you don't lose sight of who you are. Or, or, and it's very important that in that process, you at least first discover who you are so that your whole identity ju doesn't just become a relationship. Because if you don't have that or the relationship isn't working as well as you anticipated it, it to work, you're going to be very discombobulated. Discombobulated, I believe, is an SAT word like, you know. So, but discombobulated just means, you know, out of whack, okay? You'll be, you'll be very discombobulated if you don't have that, right? And we don't want you to be discombobulated the moment your relationship uh, isn't working as perfectly as you anticipated it to work because um, that's, not, uh, that's not sustainable, right? That, that won't be sustainable if you're all discombobulated in the ebbs and flows of a regular relationship because relationships aren't going to be up all the time. It's impossible, impossible. A relationship will never be good all the time. It'll also never be bad all the time. You're going to have ups, you're going to have downs, but the goal is to keep yourself level so that neither of those things are too extreme, okay? Okay, you don't want you don't want to be living on the extreme. Life is about balance, okay? So, the reason we talked about uh quantum jumping meditation, I want to ask you guys for those of you guys who actually did the homework what was your experience? And this is where I want all you guys to really participate and really let me know what your experience is like, because this is really about you, right? This is really about you and your experience. I know for some of you guys, this is really new and a really new concept. So I want to help guide you through it because I know when I first did it or when I first was understanding it or trying to understand what it is I'm doing here, um, you know, we all need guides to kind of help us understand, you know, what, what is the purpose and to help us sift through our feelings. OK, and there's two. There's one by your universe is titled and it's got like this uh, person on it. This is another one by your universe, just a black screen with like a rainbow person on it. And then there was another one that was for sleep, a quantum jumping sleep meditation. It's by Jason Stevenson. Um, it's blue. That one's like eight, eight hours long because it's to actually fall asleep, too. OK. For those of you guys who don't know, it's a meditation, right? So you're going to have someone talking to you. It's not like you just sit there in silence. You're going to have someone talking to you, guiding you through the like meditation. So to kind of put your focus in a particular place, right? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to introduce you guys slowly, right? It, to the concept of manifestation and the law of attraction, because I want you guys to be able to use that in your real life for your relationships, right? But I also want to introduce you to all the powers, unlocking all the powers of your mind in creating the reality that you want. And that includes your relationships. Trust me, that includes your relationships. 